What's going on, everybody? So, continuation on the PSA fake slabs, how to decipher between them and everything. Uh, if you guys haven't heard here, it, I believe it was just this past weekend, person was at a card show. It was one of the bigger ones, and I want to say it was a stupid amount of money, either like 50000 or $500,000 worth of fake slabs. Sting operation done between collectors and police, and I'm sure there'll be a lot more coming of that. But they want to show a key thing to how they're finding these fake slabs. And I know somebody asked me about the QR code. I've heard some of the fakes work. I cannot confirm nor deny that statement, so use it with a grain of salt, as I always say. But with these fake slabs, they're, and when you read the post, they're trying to explain it. It's really hard to understand. So this is a PSA, newer one, right? So I'm going to use the pen here. If you look here, this is what we call frosting on this outer edge, okay? Notice how here there's like a 7 or like what we consider a square that's cut out that's clear. A clear 7, right? This side here, clear. So you can see the corners completely in that edge. So the frosting's right here, all right? So when I go to explain this, I'm going to pull the pictures up here very, uh, I guess you could say right now in a way. But I just want to make sure everybody's understand what I'm talking about because it can confuse some people onto this. All right, so this was one of the cards that were busted. So if you notice, it's on the left-hand side of the screen. That's the Michael Jordan everybody's talking about. Where that red square goes around, you see how that frosting's bleeding into that corner? And where the top of the 7 is kind of there, but on the right side it's not. So again, when you're looking at the card I have... You see how it's clear right here where my pen's going up and down? And that one there, it's not. This frosting's bled over. So you're only seeing this little bit up here. You're still missing a good chunk here. That's how you could tell that it's a fake PSA slash. You can see this is one of the ones, a Division of Collectors, Universe, blah, 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 blah. I mean, there's other stuff, but this is one of the new telltales. This here was provided into a conversation. It was going on Facebook by Matt Greeny from My Slabs. This gives you a little bit better of an example to where that frosting is pushed over. And I'll give you what my card was. The same exact card you guys seen. As you can see, it's clear there. It kind of might not look perfectly clear, but I'll pull mine. Let me go like this and pull that one down. But as you can see, because I'll hold it up here, it's clear. If I can hold it steady with one hand, it's clear right there. Well, now it's not wanting to focus on to it. There we go. Clear right in there, where the others are bleeding over, left to right. So I wanted to bring that to your guys' attention because there's a lot of different things to look at. Um, when you start talking about these cards overall... And it's usually on the back, it's the top right corner. And on the front, it's the top left corner where they're really messed up at. And there's a ton of these out there. There's no idea how many of these fake slabs have been sold out there. But it's the best to get the knowledge out there to everybody. And if you know anybody that deals with sports cards and slabs, usually I never say this. Share this video so it has some type of explanation out there what to look at. The previous video, I was showing you guys all the, um, uh, what do you call it, the little watermarks you, I used the black light on to see going across the board. That's a good way of looking at the slab as well, too. This here is another thing just to look for. If you don't have that black light and you're going through somebody's collection, you see that frosting touching the card on the, um, on the sides there and don't look like what I showed you with mine, it's, it's a fake slab easiest way to tell you guys about it so if you guys want share tag people whatever you want to do share the video on twitter or instagram tiktok i don't know what else there is snapchat and all the other stuff because uh, getting the information out is the most important thing i would hate to be out there and you know somebody gets scammed off of something like this and it's a big card because odds are these, this guy who did it, if you go on to Facebook, 
uh, if you just type in fake PSA slabs, and I forget what the show was, it'll probably pop up because it's on the guy's personal page. But um, it's really hard. If they spend all that money and a guy has no source of income, owns nothing, how are you ever going to get that money back? Guy's just going to go to jail. You know? So, look into everything onto it. Be very, very careful when you're buying these slabs. Unless you know somebody graded them and everything like that. kind of helps out a little bit onto it. But, I just don't want anybody to get burnt out there, really. There's a lot to look at when you start buying slabs. Sometimes it's like that ooh factor. When somebody brings something to you, you're like, Oh my gosh, I need that for my PC. Or, oh man, i got to have that card. I always wanted one. And it turned out, it's not a good slab. But again, if you guys don't mind, share the video. Normally, I don't ask that kind of stuff, but I'd like to try to get this information out just so people can see the difference between it. Hopefully, these pictures have done some justice because the original one is the Jordan. And then, like I said, off of my slabs, Matt Greeny uh, posted the other one, which is a really a lot better picture. And then this one here. And from my understanding, the guy that was arrested... I don't, I just from my understanding, can't say true or false again. Worked at one time for PWCC and somebody else they were talking about. I guess they went to his LinkedIn or something. Again, it could be totally false information. Anybody could post they work anywhere on LinkedIn. You know, I could write on my Facebook page that I work for the President of the United States. It don't matter. I probably don't. You know, honestly, everybody, you all know I don't. So you take that stuff with a grain of salt until, you know, that company comes out and says, hey, yes, that was a former employee here. But this is what you guys need to look for again. Hopefully the video helps out. I'm out. I will get you guys next video.